Good morning, folks. For a few days now, we've had our eyes on a solar tornado, a massive plasma filament on the northern hemisphere of the sun. Even with the high-definition helio viewer images, it's harder to see against the electric background of our star now that it's just facing us. But now watch at the end here, the plasma coming into the sun. Just this morning, as we speak, the solar tornado is tearing itself apart and the plasma is riding coronal magnetic fields back down into the sun. Don't imagine there will be much to see there by tonight. So with the dark coronal holes north and south readying to exit an earth-facing position, we might expect an impact in the solar wind soon. As of this morning, Earth's magnetic shield is calm. However, the electron flux is taking a pounding, and Earth is gaining energy in its magnetic system. The coronal stream may have arrived as we see a solid density bulge made up of slower particles bunched up at the leading shock wave of the faster stream which is about a hundred times hotter as well, we'll be watching today. We haven't seen much solar flare activity. The lone flash of the last day came from the limb, from a sunspot that is not even yet visible on the Earth-facing side. Flaring's on life support. And the sunspots aren't helping the situation. The lone active region of note on the disk has magnetic spread completely side to side, with very little chance of mixing today. While some 5 magnitude rumbles took place in the last 24 hours, these in 4 magnitude range are more noteworthy for being above average for their area, especially this one in California. We'll also bring up the alert map that oil spill in Montana has reached the water supply. Quite a scramble there. Meanwhile, an atrocious glue-like substance is coating seabirds out west and killing them by the hundreds. They have not yet identified the substance. Before and after at Madagascar, they just had the cyclone come through, and the post-flood effect is seen entering the sea. Quick ice update. The current Arctic extent is below average, but growing and still well above the record lows. Meanwhile, humans have never seen this much ice in Antarctica. The records are falling day after day as the ice refuses to go away. And don't see this every day. We've got cyclone potential in the South Pacific. Only the islands just east of Bora Bora are in danger, but as of now, this is the strongest tropical system on the planet. In the United States, we've got a low in converging air masses in the southwest, and another one of those up in the Midwest states. These areas are accumulating the moisture and have the turbulence required to bring it back down to the ground. General winter advisories, but we shouldn't have anything catastrophic. Over in Europe, we see the counterclockwise curls to some weakened lows. Also no high level alerts here, but for high accumulation in mountainous areas and some travel concerns going with it. Down under, a low really got its act together there in northeastern Australia, regulating the coastline while a convergence grows just off the shores of the North Island of New Zealand. We've got clouds popping in those areas and moisture coming down. Both areas on alert tonight. Later tonight, we'll upload a second video here on YouTube featuring Michael Steinbacher and experiments from Billy in our electric lab. Something interesting to check out when you get home. You're seeing current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.15 on the West Coast. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.